Uh, before midterm, from week two to seven, we will study C++ basics such as uh, syntax, concepts of functions, classes, and so on. Um, so the scope of midterm exam is C++ basic. And then we will study more advanced features starting from week eight to week 14. Uh, we will study concepts of object-oriented programming such as inheritance, polymorphisms, and other advanced topics such as uh, templates and STL, the standard template library. And the final exam will be comprehensive and cover all materials in the class. All class materials and the important notifications can be found on iCampus. And instead of sending me an email, use Q&A bullet in the iCampus to ask questions relating to this course so that um, other students can also see the questions and answers as well. And the URL for Groom platform is skku.grrm.io. Uh, we will have a lab session using this platform. And all the source code used in the lectures will be uploaded on GitHub. So you don't have to type everything when you are studying by yourself. Um, the GitHub URL is uh, this one. Um, briefly introducing myself, as I explained earlier, I'm a assistant professor, um, just joined the Sung University semester, and I have uh, nine years of industrial experience develop security software adapted in automotive and smartphones. So I know Korean industry culture. I may able to give you some advice in finding jobs in Korea. Um, if you have any concerns or questions relating to Korean industrial, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm here to help you. And my research area is uh, security. I use various techniques to improve um, security level of key technologies in the fourth industrial revolution, such as uh, automotive, Android, and blockchains. Um, for example, I have developed tools that detect security issues automatically in these systems. Um, and I also like to find new security issues in these platforms. So hacking is another in my research field as well. Okay, uh, that's it for the course introductions. Uh, because of this is the first week, I will briefly introduce you the C++ programming language. We will study the concept of C++ starting from next week. So what is C++? Um, this may be the two easy questions. Um, it is programming language, obviously. Um, there are two types of programming languages, low levels and high level languages. Low level languages include machine code and assembly language. Um, machine language is the lowest level of programming language. It handles binary data, as you can see here. It is written with just zeros and ones. Um, can you understand the meaning of this program? I can't. So machine language is extremely difficult for human to understand it because it's just zero and ones. So assembly language comes here. Assembly language is also low level programming language, but it is more readable than machine language as it is as it uses a uh, monomic to represent the instructions. So such as a uh, sub move here, um, it means something, it's subtractions and move. So it's much easier for human to understand um, this assembly language compared to this machine code. And assembly language can be directly translated into uh, machine code. Um, the problem of the machine language 
in assembly language is that it is closely ties to a computer's internal hardware such as a CPU. So if CPU changes, you may have to completely rewrite the program because different CPU uses a uh, different assembly and machine language. So it's very inefficient. So people develop high level programming language such as uh, C, C++ and Java. Unlike the low level programming language, it is designed to be readable by human and it does not depend on hardware. So even the hardware changes, programmers do not require to rewrite the programs. Um, they can just reuse it. Um, in these lectures, we will learn C++. C++ is a high level programming language. It is invented by um, him, Bjorn Stromstrup. Um, in early 1980s. So he designed C++ um, to be a better C. If you search um, him in YouTube, you can find a um, lot of his talk on various topics in programming languages. So if you are interested, um, you can listen to his talk on YouTube. Um, C++ is superset of C. So whatever you do in C, you can also do in C++ as well. For example, um, you use malloc functions for dynamic allocation memories. Um, you can use that in C++ as well. Even though C++ has a different APIs for allocating memories, um, uh, you can still use a malloc in C++. And C is a procedure imperative paradigm programming language. Imperative language focus on how the program is executes. Um, on the other hand, there are declarative programming which focus on what the program is executes. And C is a procedural programming language because it writes the behavior um, of program um, using procedures, which is uh, functions or subroutines. Unlike C, C++ is a multi-paradigm language. C++ is designed to be um, object-oriented programming language, short for OOP. Uh, we will learn concept of OOP in later sessions. Uh, OOP is uh, popular because it helps programmers to write better, more, better, um, more easily maintainable programs. And because C++ is superset of C, it is also procedure um, imperative paradigm as well. Moreover, it is generic programming um, because it uses uh, templates. We will learn concept of generic programming templates um, after midterm exam, so stay tuned. So should we learn C++? It is ne necessary to learn C++. Um, I say C++ is basic programming language that all software major students should learn because it is so popular. Um, it is used in various systems. Um, according to TOOP index for August 2021, C++ is ranked fourth. And according to PYPL index 2021, C++ is ranked in fifth. So we can see that C++ is very popular.
So it is good to study C++ language. And additionally, because C++ is general purpose programming language, it is used to develop various systems. Um, some programming languages are not general purpose and they are used for a um, particular domains. For example, um, Ethereum is one of the popular blockchain platform. And on Ethereum, we can run small software programs and we call it as a smart contract. So smart contract is a small uh, program which runs on Ethereum blockchain platform. And we can use Solidity programming language to develop smart contract that um, are running on a Ethereum blockchain platform. So Solidity is also programming language, but um, Solidity can only be used to develop smart contracts. It cannot be used to develop other programs, so it is not um, general purpose programming language. It is very specific. Um, it is um, domain-specific programming languages for the um, blockchain software. But C++ is general purpose. C++ is used to develop operating systems such as a uh, window, Linux, so it can also be um, used to develop commercial applications, database, um, moreover it also used to develop translators such as a compiler um, and interpreter. So this is the reason why um, C++ is so popular and very system uses a uh, C++. And C++ is used in many companies. For example, Samsung and LG, they use C and C++ in developing smart TV, smartphones, and automotive software. So what I want to say is that you must learn C++. If you are uh, fluent in C++, you can do a lot of things as a programmers. Um, and if, if you know the C++ language very well, very well, um, you will um, not have learning um, other programming languages, um, other object-oriented programming languages, because um, you will um, learn all the important concepts from the OOP if you um, study C++. So um, let's study C++ plus hard throughout this course. Um, there are many C++ compilers, um, G++, and Visual C++, and LLVM, the Clang, and Intel C++ are the major C++ compiler, but there are many other C++ pro pro compilers as well. Um, usually in various companies like LG uses uh, um, G++. But in this course, um, you're free to use um, any of these compilers. And for higher performance and better programmabilities, um, C++ is keep evolving. New C++ specification is released every three years. So C++ 11, um, C++ 14, 17, 20, this indicates the C++ versions. And when you compile your C++ programs, you can explicitly specify the C++ versions. Um, but as long as you stay with the latest C++ compiler, um, you can use the latest language features from C++. 
Um, if you go to these two link, you can find the main language features for each version. So if you are interested about it, uh, visit these links. So uh, when we study a new programming language, what we do um, very first is developing program printing hello world. So let's do that using a C++ language. Um, this is a very simple program printing hello world string. On the first line, similar to C programming, um, in C++, we also include external library using a sharp include directive. And in this code, we include a um, standard library named IO stream. Um, this library must be included in order to use the APIs for printing something um, in your um, console. And CMS C program, C++ also has our main functions. And every C++ program start with um, the main functions. And on line four, we can see C out. C out is an object of the um, output stream class, which is used for sending data to um, the standard output stream, I mean, to your standard console. Um, this C out class is defining this IO stream header file, which we include um, on line one. We will study objects and class later in, um, in class. STD is something we call namespace. Uh, we will also learn namespace um, in later course, um, maybe next week. And ENDL indicates a new line. So if we execute this program, um, as you can see here, um, it prints the hello world string. And it also prints welcome to the C++ word string on next line because we use uh, this ENDL new line. Okay, um, that's it for this week. Um, starting from next week, uh, we will uh, talk more about C++ basic syntax. So see you in the next week.